we'll start off with a definition of successive ionization energy and the successive ionization energies are a measure of the energy required to remove each electron in turn so that's the energies to require each electron one at a time now we've seen on a previous video what the first ionization energy is it is the energy to remove an electron from each gaseous atom in a one mole of element to produce one mole of one plus ions the second ionization energy is the energy required to remove a single electron from each one plus ion to give one mole of two plus ions similarly the third ionization energy corresponds to the energy required to remove an electron from a 2 plus ion to give a 3 plus ion the important thing to remember is at each stage there is only a single electron removed the magnitude of successive ionization energies gives evidence for the presence of shells if we look at nitrogen which has five electrons in shell n equals 2 and two electrons in shell n equals 1 Let's look at what happens to the magnitude of each successive ionization energy by plotting a graph as we remove each electron. We see that the first five ionization energies corresponding to the removal of the outer electrons in shell n equals 2 show a steady increase however when we remove the electrons from shell n equals 1 there is a sudden jump up in the ionization energy this is because the inner electrons are closer to the nucleus and also the shielding has been reduced now let's look at a typical exam question for successive ionization energies now, an element in period 3 that's the period that runs across from sodium at one end to argon at the other has the following successive ionization energies and it gives a list there of the ionization energies the successive ionization energies and what we need to do is identify this element and give your reasons how you've reached that conclusion now what we need to do first is find the point where there is a sudden increase in the ionization energy that will tell us how many electrons there are in the outer shell because the points where the ionization energy suddenly jumps up will tell us that we're entering another shell so we need to find that point now sometimes the students find it hard to find that point where there's a jump just by looking at the numbers so what you can do is you can do a quick little sketch yourself and it should become obvious then and if we plot the successive ionization energies this is what we get something like this it only needs to be done very roughly and here we see that, that there's a large jump between the fourth and the fifth ionization energies and this corresponds to moving from an outer shell to an inner one one thing with this type of question is don't assume that because you are given eight successive ionization energies there are only eight electrons in the atom don't do that you may have only been given as in this case the first eight ionization energies that's something to bear in mind anyway our graph shows that there are four electrons in the outer shell now let's look at the periodic table we know that the element is in period three because it tells us that in the question now which element in period three has four electrons in the outer shell it's very easy to work that out the group number gives us the number of electrons in the outer shell so our element has four electrons in the outer shell and so it must be in group four in the periodic table therefore our element is silicon so we've identified the element as silicon that will get us a single mark 
we will get the other marks by explaining how we worked it out. You can do that by saying, there is a large jump in the ionization energy as we go from the fourth to the fifth electron removed. This jump corresponds to moving from the outer shell to an inner shell. Because the element is in period three, this means a move from the n equals three outer shell to the inner n equals two shell. This means the element has four electrons in the outer shell and so must be in group four. The group four element in the period three is therefore silicon.